Hi, welcome back. Today I will continue the same chapter, chapter number five. I found my mother <coughs> using Google Earth first, and it is page number fifty-two. The line from when where I am going to start is twenty-three years passed away. Now this boy was, you can say, a quite grown-up child. Now he missed his parent in a childhood, and twenty-three years just passed away. You can just imagine how long time or a period it is. the writer is telling that as he just a grown up child he had a desire in his mind that he should find his birth family and it was a very great problem for him that how to manage that because he did not know his town's name from where he related in india all he had were that only a memory was left where left in his mind that he is from india and from where he was brought to the another country so he decided that he will take the help of google earth and he started finding there what he did he had a bright mind you can say that a bright idea in himself and what he did he multiplied the time was on the train the number of hours he journeyed in that night you can say that he just calculated that hours and he just trying to match the speed of indian railway that how fast it just covers the distance and near about he came roughly a distance and that was a what it was a 1200 km he made a circle on the map from the center and he just came on the center or he was trying to focus that kol kata was his main town from where his he had missed his parents distance i thought i had a trouble he was able to manage that and what he did soon he discover what he was looking for and he got a special name and that was what kandava and from as he got that name he zoomed his computer and there he noticed that the things which he has seen in his childhood waterfall or where he used to play the playground that means he was on a right way soon he made what he made a journey where to his hometown and he is telling you that i found my way around the town with my childhood memories and according to his childhood memory he just went on and on and at last it such happened that he found his own home and in the neighborhood a person was uh, living there and his name was uh, what ganesh talai but it was not what he had thought or hope when he asked about that he was able to know that 
that his family had just moved from here to another place but at that moment another person came and then a third person also arrived there and it was a very stuck gold i mean he was a lucky there when that man came he was able to know that where his house is because that man took him to his mother at first he did not recognize her because she was old enough the last time when he saw her she was of a 34 years old a pretty lady you can say that but she looked old now because a lot of her time had just passed away but he still recognized her mother because she was her mother the dearest person you can say that she grabbed his hand she hold his hand you can say that she could not say anything to him because no words she had at that time she was unable to speak or you can say that she was just weeping there it was a pleasure to get her son or to meet her lovely son you can see that the fellow standing there the little chap thank you today i will take up till here i will continue in the next